Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. In part one of tonight's nightcap, I do a repair on another steam wagon valve. In part two, I'm going to put up some video that I took at the model engineering show at Harrogate a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I put a little bit of video up on Wednesday night uh, on a jet engine series. I've actually had the jet running today. Um, it's not finished, but it certainly runs. It's like a development stage now. And next weekend, that's this weekend coming, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, I'll be at the NEC at the uh, Classic Car and Restoration Show and I'm going to take the jet with us down there. I'll be on the Extreme Plasma stand and also a little bit on the Artec Welding stand. If you want to come and say hello, please come and say hello. It will be great to meet you. I'll put some more jet engine video on, probably this Wednesday. I think there's about eight or nine episodes to catch up on. These are obviously all current on the um, Patreon channel. And today I did put a little bit of video on of the jet running. This is a foot release valve or a dump valve of a Sentinel steam engine. It's like a core popper valve in there with a valve seat. I've had it in my sandblaster and I've had it on a wire wheel. And it was really bad. The corroded, but it's cleaned up quite nicely. The valve's absolutely seized solid in there. So I'm going to put some heat on here and see if I can get it to move. That can see I see that once the seat recutting and the valve remachining or whatever we're going to do to make it work again. So I'm going to put some heat on and see if it'll move. That'll move the bastard. Give me, Johnny. This is probably never moved for the last 50 or 60 years. Don't expect it to give up easily, but it will give up. Indeed it has, it has given up, heat really is your best friend when you're working on old bits of machinery like this. You can see the valve there, the valve in good condition, the valve seat looks good as well. Something suitable to punch that out with, like a punch that I haven't got up here. I'm sure I'll find something. Right, so we'll just let that cool down naturally and then we'll go about 
refurbishing it. This part here has a stop valve and that valve there is quite badly pitted so that will need welding up and the seat remachining so it seals off quite nicely into there but once again the sandblaster has done an amazing job of cleaning it up and then the wire wheel you'll never make it look like new but you don't want to make it look like new you just want to make it functional This is actually all moving, it did free off without too much problem. Uh, the sandblasting helped. I'm going to take it a bit now and see if we can get it all sorted and repaired, ready to go out of the, the regulator again. I'll probably make new bolts. You've certainly seen better ideas in there. And all these do was push down on that follower, that gland there. through there there's a little bit of pitting on there but not as bad as it could be when you think how old it actually is Bastard, a clumsy twat. That's a double start thread on there, a square thread. You can see it's quite badly pitted. See how it cleans up. And that gland needs to come out of there. That's packing material goes down there, and that goes around there, and that's what seals the, the steam in. The remains of the wool packing in there. There's a good chance to be asbestos in that. The modern stuff we use now hasn't got asbestos in. It's all. It's certainly all salvageable. I'll give it a bit more blast now. I've got that out of there. I'll put it in the lathe and polish it up and see how bad it actually is. When we're polishing things in the lathe, we don't have any jewellery on, there are dangly cuffs. And use a long bit of tape and just hold the very ends, you don't wrap it around your hands.
That's pitted, but it's not the end of the world pitted. What I'll do is I'll get it running a lot straight on the lathe and I'll probably take a light cut of it. Just so the pattern has a better, that's the only bad bit there. It's not, it's not terrible. I've decided to leave this part of the valve, this, the spindle, that'll seal it with the pattern. But what I have done is I've built the valve up with uh, three or nine stainless, just so I can cut a new seat on it. It's all about the decent metal now, nice and thick. There was hardly anything left of the original valve head. So we'll be able to cut a nice seat on there and that should work out quite nicely. I'm going to set this in the forge yard chuck so I can remachine that valve seat in there. It's really badly pitted, there's no way that would hold steam. So we can get it set up in the forge yard chuck as accurate as we possibly can. And that isn't a great lot to, lot to go out really. There's not a, not a great lot straight on this, I wouldn't have thought. That face there will be straight or parallel anyway. That looks better straight away. Actually, a part laying a castle end down the centre. If I line it up with the centre of the jaws, I should hopefully get it somewhere near. Grip on it there. That wasn't <laughs> wasn't very good, was it? <laughs> yeah. I think that's as good as I'm going to get, that's kind of the intent thou now. We'll put a centre in here and just machine that face, that gasket face there and then cut the valve seat.
clean that up. See if that seat goes in there and I've got to try and look out what sort of angle it is. Right, I've measured the angle, set it up as best we can, as it looks sort of decent. As long as I cut the same angle on the valve face, it'll be good. Slight to put this on. And we'll either set it the same angle or we'll put the machine the valve. So we go, that's really good. I'll settle for that. Put it to a little pit marks in there, they'll not make any difference at all, but it's going to be going to be fine. Right, so the compound slide is still at the same angle, so that's going to put that angle on the valve exactly the same as the valve seat. The trouble is there's nothing wrong, it's all sort of worn and I think everything's a compromise. That's better. So the valve screws in and like I say it's, it wobbles about. The packing keeps it central but it lines itself up in the centre and it, it spends most of its time in that position anyway, closed and then you wind it in and that goes down and touches on the pocket of the valve which lets the main steam into the engine like a dead stop. I can't see that giving any problems to tell you the truth. Very happy.